Stretch marks, also called smile, are something that we develop when our body undergoes rapid expansion or periods of growth. Well, this is something that all of us have developed at some point of our lives and are very conscious about. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Pranami Kashyap, dermatologist and esthetician and today we're going to talk about how to get rid of stretch marks. Owing to its property of elasticity, our skin can actually expand many folds whenever our body undergoes rapid periods of weight gain, muscle gain or sudden conditions like pregnancy. However, on a microscopic level, the skin undergoes multiple soft tissue injuries which actually heal leading to the formation of stretch marks. So actually, stretch marks are a form of scar. As stretch marks develop over time, their color changes. So while in its initial stage, stretch marks are reddish pink in color and are known as prior rubra. This is actually the phase when we can properly treat it. However, as it gets older, its color changes from pinkish to purplish to white. And at this stage, also known as prior alba, it actually is quite difficult to treat. So the key to treating stretch marks is to target its treatment at its earlier stages. Before we jump into the treatment of stretch marks, let's just talk about how to prevent developing them. First and foremost, avoid getting into crash diets or rapid phases of weight loss or muscle loss. Uh, and in case you are pregnant, always make sure that you moisturize your skin at least three to four times a day. You can just go for simple moisturizers containing aloe vera, coconut oil, uh, shea butter, which actually help keeping your skin soft and supple. The next option is to go for hyaluronic acid serums. It actually increases the moisture content of your skin and visibly improves the appearance of stretch marks. And the third and a recent development in the prevention of stretch marks is Centella Asiatica, which is a very popular ingredient in Korean beauty products. It's been actually proven to visibly improve the appearance of stretch marks while reducing inflammation and helping in neocollagenesis. Coming to what causes stretch marks? Well, first and foremost are rapid phases of weight gain, weight loss, muscle gain or muscle loss. Next, we come to pregnancy in which we call it stria gravidarum. And then physiologically, we see it during puberty when children have growth spurts. There are also certain medications which when taken for a long duration lead to formation of stri. And one of the most common medications among these are topical and oral steroids. And finally, we come to the treatment of stretch marks. Always make sure you go to your dermatologist while you still have the earlier stage of stretch marks when it is still quite treatable. But what can you do at home in the meantime? First and foremost, moisturize as much as you can. And secondly, you can use certain home-based ingredients like honey, uh, sugar or lemon all mixed together to make a certain scrub that can be used once or twice a week so that you can remove the dead cells from the surface. So if you approach your dermat while your stretch marks are still in their developing phases, they are going to prescribe you what we call retinoids. Retinoids are basically vitamin A derivatives and the most common retinoid that we prescribe our patients is known as retinoid. It's been actually seen to help in collagen formation while reducing inflammation. However, if you are pregnant, lactating or you're planning to get pregnant, you are supposed to avoid any form of retinoids. The next option for you in that case are silicone gels, which we actually use for different kinds of scars. They actually help in visible improvement of the scars and increase its collagen formation again. Apart from the medical treatment of stretch marks, you can also undergo several office-based procedures which are performed by a dermatologist. Some of these procedures include retinol peels, microneedling or derma roller with or without PRP, various kinds of lasers including fractional CO2, excimer or intense pulse light, 
or microneedling radio frequency as well as microderma abrasion. So that was all you need to know about how to get rid of your stretch marks. I had so much fun making this video and I'm absolutely looking forward to our next session. I'll see you guys around until then. Bye bye. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us.